Hi guys, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR Pharmatio. In the last video, we discussed clotrimazole, econazole and butoconazole synthetic antifungal agents. Click on the i button on top right of this video to watch it. I have given the links for the other related topics of antifungal agents and medicinal chemistry in the description below this video, watch them. Also, find the important, probable, expected or previously asked questions in the community tab of the channel. In this lesson, we shall learn about the other synthetic antifungal agents oxyconazole, tioconazole and myconazole. The first drug of this lesson is oxyconazole. Oxyconazole was patented in 1975 and approved for medical use in 1983. Its IUPAC name is 1,2,4-dichlorophenyl-2,1-H-imidazole-1-ethinone ortho-2,4-dichlorophenyl-methyl-oxyme mononitrate. It is an oxyme orthoether that is the 2,4-dichlorobenzyl ether of the oxyme obtained by formal condensation of hydroxylamine with the carbonyl group of acetophenone in which the phenyl group is substituted by chlorines at position 2 and 4 and in which one of the hydrogens of the methyl group is replaced by a 1-H-imidazole-1-ile one group. It has a role as an anti-infective agent it is a member of imidazoles, an oxyme orthoether, a dichlorobenzene, an imidazole antifungal drug and a conazole antifungal drug. It is a conjugate base of an oxyconazole. Oxyconazole is a white crystalline nitric acid salt. It is a broad spectrum imidazole derivative with antifungal activity. Although the exact mechanism of action has yet to be fully elucidated, oxyconazole like other azole antifungals most likely inhibits the cytochrome P450 dependent demethylation of lanosterol. This prevents the synthesis of ergosterol which is a crucial component of fungal cell membrane. By disrupting fungal cell membrane synthesis and integrity, oxyconazole alters fungal cell membrane permeability, promotes loss of essential intracellular components and eventually inhibits fungal cell growth. Oxyconazole is sold under the name Oxystat in the US and Oxizole in Canada. It is an antifungal medication typically administered in a cream or lotion to treat skin infections such as athlete's foot, jock itch and ringworm. It can also be prescribed to treat the skin rash known as a tinea versicolor caused by systemic yeast overgrowth. The next drug is Tioconazole. Tioconazole was patented in 1975 and approved for medical use in 1982. It is a synthetic imidazole derivative. Chemically, it is known as 1 2,2-chloro-3-thionyl-methoxy-2,2-fluoro-dichlorophenyl-ethyl-imidazole. It is a member of the class of imidazoles that comprises 2,2,4-dichlorophenyl-ethyl-imidazole carrying an additional 2-chloro-3-thionyl-methoxy substituent at position 2. It is an ether, a member of imidazoles, a member of thiophenes and a dichlorobenzene. Tioconazole is synthesized by a condensation or a displacement reaction between 1,2,4-dichlorophenyl-2,1-H-imidazole-1-ile-ethanol and 2-chloro-3-chloromethyl-thiophene. It interacts with 14-alpha-demethylase, a cytochrome P450 enzyme that converts lanosterol to ergosterol, an essential component of the yeast membrane. In this way, it inhibits ergosterol synthesis resulting in increased cellular permeability. Tioconazole is marketed under the brand names Trocid and Gynotrocid. It is an antifungal medication of the imidazole class used to treat infections caused by a fungus or yeast. It is used for the treatment of vulvovaginal candidiasis. It exhibits fungicidal activity in vitro against Candida albicans, other species of genus Candida and against Torolapsis glabrata very effectively to compare with other azoles. Tioconazole ointments serve to treat women's vaginal yeast infections. Tioconazole topical preparations are also available for ringworm, jock itch, athlete's foot and tinea versicolor or sun fungus. 
it does not work for bacterial or viral infections and the last drug is meconazole meconazole was patented in 1968 and approved for medical use in 1971 it is an antifungal synthetic derivative of imidazole its iupac name is 1224 dichlorobenzyl oxy 224 dichlorophenyl ethyl imidazole which is a member of the class of imidazoles that is 124 dichlorophenyl 2 imidazole 1 il ethanol in which the hydroxyl hydrogen is replaced by a 24 dichlorobenzyl group it is an ether a member of imidazoles and a dichlorobenzene meconazole was first synthesized in 1969 It is synthesized from 2,4 dichlorophenacyl bromide, which is reacted with imidazole to form 1,2,4 dichlorobenzoyl methyl imidazole, reducing the carbonyl group of this molecule with sodium borohydride gives 1,2,4 dichlorophenyl 3,1 imidazolyl ethanol, and the hydroxyl group is alkylated by 2,4 dichlorobenzyl bromide using a powerful base such as sodium hydride to give meconazole meconazole nitrate occurs as white crystals that are sparingly soluble in water and most organic solvents the solubilities of meconazole nitrate powder are 0.03% in water 0.75% in ethanol and up to 4% in acetic acid It is a weak base with a pKa of 6.65. Meconazole inhibits the fungal enzyme 14 alpha sterol demethylase resulting in a reduced production of ergosterol. In addition to its antifungal actions, meconazole similarly to ketoconazole is known to act as an antagonist of the glucocorticoid receptor. Meconazole is sold under the brand name Monistat. It is a broad spectrum azole antifungal with some activity against gram positive bacteria as well. It is widely used to treat mucosal yeast infections including both oral and vaginal infections although intravenous meconazole is no longer available a wide variety of suppositories creams gels and tablet based products are available. It is particularly used to treat ringworm pityriasis versicolor and yeast infections of the skin or vagina this is the list of references followed for the lesson that's all in this video synthetic antifungal agents such as oxyconazole tioconazole and meconazole in the next video we will discuss some other synthetic antifungals till then never stop learning and never stop watching my videos thank you for watching this video